Hi, this is Gary again. Uh, this is video 11 and it's uh, going to cover just a little bit about the sheet metal getting on the body. So uh, I wanted to give uh, anybody that's interested a chance to kind of get a feel for <clears throat> what this car is going to look like um, in the end. It's, uh, I've got another panel of course down below the door there. But this will give you an idea. Um, what the car is looking like. The hood is a front hinger. And uh, I've got the engine back together now. Um, it's a little four cylinder Ecotec. Uh, Pontiac Solstice uh, four banger with a turbo on it. It's about 250 horse. And with the stretch on the body, I was able to spread things out a little bit. I had a little bit more elbow room inside there to put the uh, radiator and turbo, all that stuff. I finally got all the wiring back, I think, together. Um, these are the stock wheels, and they'll be replaced with uh, some new rims and tires. The tires will be about two sizes bigger, and the rims will have more offset to go they'll come right out to the edge of the fender well. But uh, I decided to use the existing doors and kind of suck the sheet metal in to match the contour of the door. In the back, um, I was able to use the existing exhaust with a little uh, change of the exits and uh, they come right out in that uh, space in the in the back there it worked out okay on the trunk lid um, actually I was able to use the existing um, hinges and the torsion arm uh, spring-loaded doodads there that and I uh, ended up cutting the existing trunk lid down to um, use those humps kind of like those and they match the uh, convertible top and then I just added these extensions on to the contour. Down inside here um, I'm kind of holding up a little bit on the inside sheet metal here because I still have to pull the rear end out to put in the drive line and it's getting extended uh, lengthened a little bit and the emergency brake cables. Um, trying to figure out how to actually extend those too as well. But eventually once I get those in and the rear end bolted finally in place, then I can go ahead and put the inner wheel wells and the uh, trunk um, sheet metal in, re replace the gas tank, which fits right in this area here. And then the convertible top actually folds back down over all that and uh, so it will have a, a top. Anyhow, what, um, what we've got is uh, it's getting closer and closer and closer. <laughs> There's still an amazing amount of paint prep work, Bondo and all that to do on this car. It's by far just you know in the rough, rough condition uh, at this point with uh, lots of prep work to get a paint job on it. Some people that I've talked to and have seen this car want me to uh, just kind of polish it out a little bit and then put a clear coat over it and leave it kind of like a rat rod deal, but I'm not sure that's going to be in the cards. But anyhow, we'll see. Um, having a good time, feeling a lot better about things now that um, it's actually getting put together. So it's been fun. Once I get uh, the sheet metal all finished, I'll make another video to kind of show how it looks right before the paint prep starts. Be fun to kind of hit the key and drive it around a little bit. So uh, we'll see. We'll let you know. Bye.